One of the more interesting book projects that I tackled way back in 2005 was to join forces with bluebird enthusiasts right across the range of the mountain bluebird, which is basically British Columbia, Western Saskatchewan, and down through the Western states. So I worked with these folks to do a book called Mountain Bluebird Trail Monitoring Guide. And so basically this book covers everything related to setting up and maintaining a bluebird trail. And it's about the history of mountain bluebirds, a little bit more about actually the other two species as well, the western bluebird found in the west, eastern bluebird in the east. And it talks about why we should care about bluebirds, their natural history, of course in the wild they nest in woodpecker cavities, but they are in short supply now. And many of the natural cavities have been taken over by non-native species, including European starlings and house sparrows. And so this is about how to build a box, a proper box. There's no one perfect box design, but there are lots of bad designs out there. So this outlines the good designs, how to build them, where to put them, how to maintain them, how to deal with challenges, how to age and sex the little baby bluebirds so that data can be collected about them, and how to deal with challenges like sparrows and squirrels and things. So if you're interested in setting up your own mountain bluebird trail, you can just contact me and I have copies of this book or it is carried in bookstores throughout Alberta as well. So do check it out and if you're into bluebirds, this is the book you need.